back to my bathroom. This is episode seven of Is It It's a special edition. In this bag, I have tons of beauty products from the 90s, early 2000s. Nostalgia. We're just gonna reminisce and rate them together. Before we start, do your tithing. Subscribe, like, click the bells. I'm here for you every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. First up, this is an original butterfly clip. I had at least 10 in my hair at every single moment. And I would just sit there and do this looking at boys. They weren't looking at me, but I was looking at them. You could get them this way with the little moving wings from Claire's, or you could get these. Remember we used to kind of like twist cornrows back and then place a butterfly clip right at the base? And then remember these. Finally found some y'all on Amazon. So these aren't original, but you would take it and spin it in your head or in your hair, and it would make this invisible gem. This I'm so excited about. Some of this stuff you may have seen before if you follow me on TikTok. I have a Remember This series where I go over products from the 90s, 2000s, 2000s. And if you've been here for a while, you may have seen some of these. We did a video like this a long time ago. Since then, deleted. Um, I didn't know I couldn't use that music. It was copyrighted, yeah. Close your eyes. These were little marble rings that you would change to coordinate your outfit. You would just take the marble and pop it through and it would stay. Look how gorgeous that is against my finger tattoos. <laughs> I don't know, 20 out of 10. I would take my little case to school and I would start just changing it. I was never listening to the, ever, ever listening to the teacher. I was doing something, playing with my butterfly clips, playing with my staplers or changing the ball on my ring. I was not listening to Miserous Jones. I had no idea what was going on. And I would tell my teachers like, I'm not gonna use any of this junk, okay? Look at me. I may be ugly now, but I'm gonna be a hairdresser when I grow up. And hairdressers, we don't need math. We really don't. We need simple math. So algebra and stuff, away with it. And sure enough, I was right. I don't need it. You weren't taking a proper bath unless you had some of these. Remember these? You'd put these in the bathtub and they're filled with some kind of, I guess it's like baby oil and they smelled, I can't describe the smell, but they smelled, was it good? These should have came with a fall warning. You would use like three or four, drain the tub. And when you would get out of the tub, you would be slipping and sloping. You're just putting skis on. Okay, you're back and forth. You're gonna break your neck getting out of the bathtub. They came in all kinds of different shapes and my Favorite one was the dolphin, the blue dolphin and the turtle. Oh yeah, and they also had them in circles. Remember that, just little round globes. Woo! My grandmother used to always have a little jar of them and I would like take one out, take it home with me. She used them for decor. That is not decor. That needs to be used ASAP. There's this girl on TikTok that makes the original 90s ones. I'll try to find it and if I can find it, I'll put it in the description box below. These bath beads, 10 out of 10. Actually, we don't even need to rate this stuff, y'all. I loved all this stuff. I loved it all, 10 out of 10. Art Stuff by Bath & Body Works. Sassy Strawberry Cosmic Cool Body Splash. Do you just remember Bath & Body Works? Okay, let's go backwards, okay? Come on with me. We're in the car with our grandmother and we're parking it. What do we see? Well, we see Captain D's if you're with my grandma and right beside it is the mall, the indoor mall. You walk in and the smell of pecans hits your face. Roasted pecans. No, you can't get any because they're too expensive, but you can smell them. You get the sample, you come back around and get another sample. My grandma loves Bath & Body Works still to this day. She is at that soap. So she will be on her last leg of life at that soap sale at Bath and Body Works. You best believe it. My grandma spent about an hour in that store. What are you looking at? Nothing's changed. And what I would do, I would go back to the sink and in the little corner, there was the art stuff wall. That's where my mind would just do work. I would be thinking about all the stuff I could create. I mean, cause I couldn't really buy any of this stuff. Y'all then it stopped me from sampling it. Okay, I sampled. So this is not my original one. I had to buy this on Poshmark. But the cool thing about this one was the smell just okay. Five out of 10. At best, it smells like, is it Rave hairspray? It smells very alcoholic-y. Alcoholic smells like an alcoholic. Is that my stepdad? <laughs> I don't know. God love him, rest his soul, rest in peace. Y'all, my uncle just died too, his twin brother. It's been real sad up in here. Um. Anyway, this was cool because of whatever those old beads are. I would spray this all over my body, the samples, and come out. I mean, when I walked out of Bath & Body Works, I was flammable. Grandma don't light your cigarette, we're gonna blow up. Also in art stuff, this. Surf and Citrus Roll-On Body Glitter. The Blazing Blueberry one, that one was really good too. You would just roll this stuff on. Okay, it's lost a little bit of its luster, but you would roll this on, on your neck, on your hands. I would put it everywhere. I would leave a glitter trail. Looking back, we probably really weren't old enough to be taking glitter baths. I also have the Art Stuff Mix Masters. You would turn it and it would lava lamp on you. Woo! 
In reality, it's just baby oil. Real oily, slick, probably really bad for your lips, gets them all chapped and stuff. But this was another thing I would do at school. I would just do this, up and down, up and down and Miss Jones is in the background squawking at me. 122 divided by two, bitch, I don't know. I'm busy doing something. <laughs> That's all I have from the art stuff collection, but it was, oh my gosh, it was just so good. I wish they would bring it back or just do some sort of, I don't wanna go to Bath and Body Works in these times with a warm vanilla sugar body spray. No, ma'am, I'm over 30. I wanna wear blazing blueberry with a little bit of glitter. Is that too much to ask? Red Hot by Urban Decay. My friend Gigi sent me this, thank you. And it's just been a blast from the past. They had this in marshmallow, toasted marshmallow. It was like a purple one, I think. And they also had a brown box of this, but it is edible body shimmer. And it's actually a really nice body shimmer but you could lick it off. Now, when I was younger, this was way out of my price range. Also, I didn't even know where people got it because I grew up in a really, really, really small town. We had a Dollar General and that was it. But some of my friends had money and they would go to the big malls and they would bring it back and I would just be looking at it. Wow, you guys are rich. And I told myself one day, I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna get to get that. And look at me now. I may be 20 years too late, but I got it. Can we talk about the bag for a minute? Bags made out of trash, extremely popular. I know this is a beauty episode, but these are cool. Do you remember these? 1993 pocket pets. You would pop it open and the animal would move. Mine is broken, but these were like the poor man's Tamagotchi. Juice bar, body splash. We have raspberry pear and cotton candy. This was it for me. Anytime I sprayed this on me, it made me feel like an it, it made me feel like an it girl, like. Watch out, hose. I did probably overspray. You could get some with a spray bottle, some that had like lotion mixed in it. Actually, a good dupe for this is Body Fantasies. It's on Amazon. It's like $5.98. I'll link it below. It smells very similar to this, but this has more of a stronger scent, if that makes any kind of sense. Anytime I'm having anxiety, I spray this one on myself, this original one. I wish you could smell this through the screen. It's like essential oils to me. It calms me down. I don't need any of that oregano oil, whatever, Dortilla, Dortilla oils, Dotita, whatever y'all selling. I've got this, 10 out of 10. Raspberry pear, not as good, but good enough. Can we get this back? Bon Bell, Bonnie Bell. What is it? Bonbons. The little bitty nail polishes that were in the huge containers right by the lip smackers, right by the juice bar. And they had the scented one, the fruit scents. I've been on the lookout for that one. Haven't been able to find it. Oh, it was fun. It was fun to just paint 20 layers of nail polish that never dried on your fingers just at night waiting for the phone. No one's, call no one's calling you, but I would. I would stare at my phone. We had one of those clear phones. I've got it in my hoard. My sister was really pretty and good looking and popular and stuff. And so people would be calling her and I'd be like, why is anybody, why is anybody calling me? I did what any sister would do and I'd just be listening to her. Just living through her, painting my nails, just like, <gasps> he said, what? Mom, Brittany's on the phone. You know, remember when you could get your own phone line too? Oh my gosh. Thermosilk heat activated shampoo. Now, if you don't remember this, I'm sure you remember the commercial with the dragon. The heat that was your hair's enemy is now its best friend, Thermosilk. Smell it. The gimmick behind this was you would shampoo your hair with it and it would activate anytime you use heat. So they were kind of like, more heat is better. Blow dry the hell out of your hair. Use the curling iron. When we know now, that's probably not the best idea. This was 10 out of 10. It actually worked. Wild string dental floss. My friend Jen sent me this. Thank you. I'll link her stuff below because she has a really cool Instagram and TikTok where it's called Thrift to Travel. And she finds the coolest beauty products and flips them on eBay and Amazon. This one is cherry flavor, cherry berry. And y'all, I would just eat this. I would eat this. They also had grape, I think. Unwind this and just chew on it like gum. I wouldn't be flossing my teeth. No floss zone. This was straight up candy. I have no idea why they discontinued this. Jessica Simpson desserts. This was a lip gloss. This one's cream sickle. And the little gimmick behind this stuff was not only did it smell delicious, you could eat it like this. This is her whipped body cream. That was lotion that you could lick off. The best part, the cap came with sprinkles. It tastes like lotion, kind of like hairspray and lotion together, you know? She also had body glitter, like a puff that you could eat. I never had one of those, but my friends always let me borrow it and we were just like licking ourselves. That's weird. Now looking back with adult eyes. Yeah, we shouldn't. 
Flip Shades by Bonnie Bell. You would flip the tip and whoop, and I believe this is shade Cherry Cola. Honestly, it made me feel like a cigarette smoker. You could smoke everywhere and it's actually cool to smoke. And I would just kind of pretend this is a lighter over and over. I would also do that thing at restaurants where, <laughs> this is embarrassing, don't say this out loud. I would order a root beer and take off the label when they would give it to you in the root beer bottle and pretend it's beer. Bitch, you look six. Wet n Wild Cream Eyeshadow. This was the best one and you would pack it on on the corner of your eyeballs. Wet n Wild always had that little display where they were, they were like 99 cents or something, but they had a bunch of these. I don't really know why we did this, but we did wear a lot of makeup. The blue liners, the white, the silver. Looking like we're going to a damn disco party. I'm just going to fifth grade English class. Mary Kate and Ashley lip gloss. This one is Juicy Shine. And remember they used to have clothes at Walmart, right? And so did Miley Cyrus. And they were actually kind of cute. They were like punk rockish looking. Alternative, oh, fresh pair. This is fresh pair. It was just a shiny lip gloss. Lip Ray, just chapstick. These were at all the movie theaters. You would push it up from the bottom, push it back down. And I would just be sitting here doing this. Up, down, up, down, up, down down. We didn't need fidget spinners. Also, I would eat these. I'm not really sure. I used to eat a lot of weird stuff now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, of course we had bread and butter sandwiches. I think that was just a poor thing. Bath and Body Works Juniper Breeze Shower Scrub. Take a look at the back. The bottles had these little bumpy things on them. This stuff was like sandpaper. Oh, and remember that St. Ives Apricot Body Scrub? I would scrub the epidermis off my skin every single day. This was always at the sink at Bath and Body Works. I think they still have them. I don't know because I can't go into Bath and Body Works now. That gives me a headache. All the scents, migraine. How do you work there? For minimum wage, I'm not working there for a migraine. I'm not doing it. I was one of those people at the sink. I'd be putting a face mask on. I'd put the hand mask on, the blue bliss or whatever. I'd just be having a dang spa day in the public realm and I had not a care in the world. So yeah, that's it. That's my hoard collection of 90s, 2000s beauty products. <laughs>